This is my wife, Andrea, and as long as I've known her, she's had this knack for taking old outdated things and turning them into something beautiful. So after seeing this about a thousand times, I took it upon myself to make her a channel because she wouldn't do it herself. And so now I'm super excited to share with you the creative adventures of my DIY wife. Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Dean and Andrea, and today we are talking about how we flipped a storage unit a few months back. But before we jump into that, we have some exciting news to share with you guys. We are getting merch that is available now, and of course, we couldn't wait till our stuff came in the mail, so we're not even wearing it yet, but it's all available online. We'll be wearing our merch soon. So many of you have asked, and we're excited to announce that we've got it, and now you can buy your very own DIY wife or DIY life hey. for those of you that don't wanna have wife on your shirt. So check the links in the description below and get your DIY wife or life merch. All right, so now we're gonna jump into this whole storage unit storyline and we're gonna talk about how it came about. Yeah, so I have been refinishing furniture for a while now and if you've been doing the same, you may have had the same experience where family and friends start sending you things, whether it's, hey, there's a free piece on the side of the road here or I've got this old table, do you want it or do you wanna buy it? And basically a neighbor of ours said, hey, I have a client who's wanting to get rid of this whole storage unit. It has a lot of good furniture. Would you be interested in buying it? So I went with her, we took a look and I did a quick mental calculation on what I thought some of the pieces could be worth and which ones we could potentially flip and said, yeah, I think this could be worth it. And part of me deciding that it was worth it is the fact that we live in a smaller town and to be honest, furniture can be hard to come by sometimes. It sells quickly, it's priced high, and I will sometimes message within an hour of something being listed and it's already sold. And so to be able to potentially get several solid pieces, I thought, you know what, this is a unique opportunity and possibly something interesting to share with you guys as just a way to think outside of the box and find pieces in different ways. So here's how it went down and we're just gonna share our costs as we go. And we started by taking half a day to go rent a U-Haul to pick up all of these pieces. And then we went by the storage unit. We spent probably an hour or so putting all of those into the back of the U-Haul. And then we hired a couple guys to help us unload the U-Haul because we were about to die. And so all in all, between the cost of the storage unit, the cost of the U-Haul, the cost of hiring some people to help us move it, we were in at $450. So now let's talk about what we actually bought in this storage unit. And I will start off by saying that the deal was we had to buy everything in the unit. We had to get it cleared out so that the owner could stop paying for this unit that he didn't want anymore. So there was a lot of trash, a lot of stuff that went straight to the curb. But we basically had two groups of furniture. One group that I just wanted to clean up and sell for kind of a low price that I knew would sell. And then a few pieces that I wanted to actually spend time redoing, painting, fixing up to sell for a higher profit. So let's first talk about those pieces that we turned over a little more quickly. So we had a file cabinet that we sold for $30. Then this cool solid wood antique table that we sold for 40 a desk that we sold for 15, another desk that we would have sold for more, but it ended up being locked, and so we sold it for 50, and then this really awesome solid wood mincer tree desk that I sold for 400. And to be honest, that desk was the one piece that made me think this could actually be worth it because I knew it's a valuable piece, and I really probably could have sold it for more, but again, we're in a smaller town. We actually had somebody drive from over three hours away to pick it up, and it's just a beautiful piece of furniture. So that brought our total for all of those pieces that we just cleaned right up and sold off to $535, which basically covered the cost of the unit, the U-Haul, the moving help with a little extra and gave Andrea some room to then redo a few pieces within that unit. It gave us dinner money because we were too tired to cook dinner after doing all that. That's trap. <laughs> okay, so we basically did all of that to get these three pieces for Free. And you have seen all three of these in our videos, but the first one is this beautiful black credenza that I just painted solid black and put these unique 
pools on there with their wood base. We were able to sell that one for $450 and made a profit of $380. Next up was this filing cabinet that I turned into more of like a TV or entertainment table. I sold it for $250, giving us a profit of $190 for that one. And last but definitely not least was this glass display cabinet, which was definitely a favorite on our channel because it is just so unique and beautiful. And this one actually required the least amount of work and gave us the most profit. We sold it for 500 and made a profit of 450 on this one. So that gives us a grand total for these three pieces of $1,020. All right, so now let's talk about just kind of the grand total of all the numbers, all the hours here at the end. So first we'll start with our costs. And we've already said that our costs for the U-Haul, the storage unit, some help, was $450. And then to redo those three pieces of furniture, our all-in cost was $180, bringing our full all-in financial investment to $630. Our total from all of the furniture sales was $1,735. And when we subtract our costs from that number, we get $1,105 as our take-home amount. And let's add in there our hours. How much time did it take us to flip this whole unit? We both put about four hours into going, getting the U-Haul, and then loading the storage unit into it, bringing it home and unloading. And then I spent two hours taking pictures, cleaning that up, listing, communicating with people, and then another 15 hours on those three pieces that I refinished. That gives us a total of 25 hours between the two of us, giving us an hourly pay of about $44 an hour. Not bad, not bad. Not too bad. So I think the big question here at the end is, was it really worth it? Would we do this again? I feel like this is a little bit tricky. Yeah, it's a little tricky. To answer, but it was definitely more work than we anticipated. We had a few hangups. We actually had a few pieces where there were locks on them and it just didn't even cross my mind to pull them out of the storage unit before I said yes and to make sure that everything opened. And so that was some potential profit that was just gone because I put them by the curb. But all in all, we made a decent amount. Thankfully, we did better than breaking even and we didn't lose money and I did get some really cool pieces out of it. Would we do it again? Probably not for a while. I mean, it'd have to be a really great opportunity for us to jump in and put that much work into it again. So that's it for our storage unit experiment video. We hope it was helpful. We hope it kind of gives you some idea of what that process looks like and if it would be worth it for you to try it. So again, check out the merch below and we will catch you in another video very soon. feel like we need a warm up. Pep talk. Pep, okay. Get peppy. We should have the ice cream first, I guess. Mm, we could eat ice cream while we're filming. That would be the best. <laughs> you want me to intro it? Sure. Okay. Go ahead. Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Dean and Andrea. <laughs> <laughs> My pants are... Excuse squeaking me? on the leather chair. Don't don't put that don't put that in the outtakes. It sounds like a party. <laughs> but before we just before, before and part of me deciding that it was worth it, I just kind of stopped talking there awkwardly. I'll be doing some chopping on that. Okay.